Hey guys, it's Jane here with another tutorial. I haven't done one in a while and I figured I would because I just received this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's called the Party Girl Palette, the BH Party Girl Palette. It's a limited edition palette and it has 40 colors in it and these colors are crazy. When you see this, you're going to be like, oh my god. Like... They're crazy. The first thing that pops up, obviously, is the yellow, the red, the blue. But there is a lot of neutral colors in here. There's a lot of greens, purples, pinks, a lot of stuff that's really easy to work with. Um, so I wanted to kind of do a tutorial featuring this, have a few other products featured as well. So basically, it's just like a summer bronze gold eye sort of tutorial. It's something that I can see myself wearing to like a bonfire because you want something a little bit darker to illuminate your face at night. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy! So I'm going to start by taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and applying this all over my lid with my ring finger and just making sure that all of my shadows stay on all day long and prevents creasing and all that other good stuff that a primer does. Next I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Yogurt which is just like a creamy champagne color. Next, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics BH Party Girl Palette. This is limited, limited edition, and I talked about this before in the intro of this video. I'm going to be taking my flat Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush, and the third color from the left on the top, it's basically just an all-over creamy champagne color. You can probably get this from any palette, but I really like this one in this palette. It has a little bit of a gold tint to it as well. It's like a lighter gold champagne. Then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original one, and I'm using the color Half Baked. Then I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk Crease Brush, and I'm taking the color Buck from the Naked Palette. This is a perfect matte um, blending shade. Then I'm going to take the color Toasted from the Naked Palette, and I'm applying this on the outer third of my eye into the crease to create a little bit more of a look than just gold and brown. Going back with the BH Cosmetics BH Party Girl Palette, I'm taking that matte dark brown on the top row. I'm going to be blending this color into the outer V and up into the crease to create a sort of smokiness. I'm also going to be dragging it a little bit along the lower lash line. Again with the BH Cosmetics BH Party Girl Palette, I'm taking the matte white color. I'm just placing this underneath my brow bone to highlight the entire look. They're OCC's Loose Color Concentrate in Platonic, which is a really nice pinky shimmery color. Applying that to my inner corner to highlight that area. Next, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner in black. It's in the gold tube, which is so weird for me. And I'm just going to be applying my regular liner like I do on any other day, which is just a little bit of a thin line with a little bit of a thicker wing. I'm going to be taking my Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner Pencil in brown. Next, I'm going to be using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, and this is really great for lengthening my lashes. So I'm just going to be applying this directly to my already curled lashes. Alright, and now for the cheeks, I'm going to be taking my Hard Candy Blush Crush Baked Blush and Pinup, and I'm actually using this as a blush and a highlight today, because it does basically the same thing. It kind of bronzes up your cheeks and also gives you a little bit of a sheer glow. And then for lips, I'm taking the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sugar Pie, which is like my favorite new lip gloss. 